Flippin' in videos, it's your boy Lion Salt, and we're here at episode 4 of a WWF 1999 series with Heat. And then, we got Smackdown. But this Heat episode, I'm really happy with. So first off, peek out at our next, our sidebar now. So, I used to have all the titles and everything, and but uh, I'm going to be changing hands a lot. Especially between shows, and I don't want to be doing that. So, that's it. Only thing I have to change is our uh, things. So, the schedule, it's what's in the game, not real life. These are not the days that the, I mean, Monday and Thursday are the days I'm going to be uploading. But the rest of it's not real life. So, but let's jump into it. First off, Xbox got home, sent home again. So, he might go to, sent to rehab soon. But, let's get up heat. We're in a 44D in a terrible pre show match. Christine Wolf. And Jacqueline defeats April Hunter and Miss Kara at 7-14. And Jacqueline defeats Miss Kara by pinfall with the DDT. And Miss Kara was the weak link. She had a 14. Not terrible. April Hunter at 33. Good. She has like no pop. And Christine got a 47. So that's Asia from WCW. And Jacqueline had a 52. So. Miss Kara is very good girl next door. April Hunter got a good average sexy. Bitch, very good for it. Christine. So, and April Hunter's getting better. So, we start off the show with the 54C minus for Crash Hall. He says he is the greatest hardcore champion ever. Like, did you see what he did on Monday to beat Big Boss Man? No one can beat him for the hardcore championship ever. Doesn't matter where it is, what happens. So he's introducing the 24-7 rule where he'll defend his title 24-7 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, as long as you have a referee present to count the 3 fun. So, and that leads us into when out of nowhere Steve Richards comes out and attacks Crash Holly. Hits him over the head with the chair. Referee Mike Kyoto is right there and he gets him to count it, and Stevie Richards is the new hardcore champion. That leads us into a 55 C minus where Angie Christian defeats the Mean Street Posse, and Christian defeats. Pete Gasp, a pinfall with an unprettier. Christian had a Edge had a 70. Christian had a 65. 26 for the Mean Street Posse. And then in a 41 Dean, it built itself for Wrestling Little Heat. Crash Holly defeats Hardcore Holly and Stevie Richards in eight and a half minutes. When Crash defeats uh, Stevie Richards uh, by pinfall with the Crash Bulldog. And Crash came in, so for eight minutes, they're beating the shit out of each other. Like, neither one of them can pin. Crash comes in. Hits the Bulldog and Steve Richards, pins him, and runs away. 32 for Living Involvement, 61-39. Not bad. And Hardcore Holly's just sitting in the ring. Crash is running up the entrance ramp, looking around him. And Hardcore Holly's just sitting there on camera, like, just, just laughing. Like, all right, all right, kid. I see you. I see you. 47D. All right. So now... Everything good? All right. I'll be back for SmackDown. And we're back. I almost redid my intro because I forgot that this is still the same episode. And we got SmackDown booked up. 12 segments, 95 minutes. <sighs> Let's jump into it. And in 93A, Vince McMahon is here. Triple H first comes out. And challenges Vince McMahon tonight, one-on-one, -on -one, Triple H, Vince McMahon, for the WWF Championship. And Vince McMahon comes down, runs down Triple H, saying that he would be nothing without him. He would be nothing without the corporation. He would have been nothing. Because he was nothing before Vince McMahon plucked him out of WCW and brought him here. And that sometimes... You create, you have to destroy what you have created. He wants a match with Vince tonight. He's on. Then in the 76 B minus, the New Age Outlaws are seen backstage talking to uh, Shane. Like, and they're back, and they want a tag team title match tonight. And Shane's like, you know what? Guys, sounds good. You got it. And then the 76, or 70 C plus, and a decent match. China defeated Midian in 740 by pinfall with a powerbomb. 
China had a 67, Midian had a 51. Midian was off his game, but he's getting better. Miss Kitty did some good work at ringside. No worker improvements. And then Joe, Jeff here comes out, runs down China, says that it doesn't matter if she's beaten that grotesque man. There ain't no way any woman in the world can compare to J E double F J A double R E double T. Haha. <laughs> and I agree. And a 44 D plus. Gilbert is seen trying to roll up Crash Holly out back and he, uh, Crash Holly gets out of it, hits him in the head with the dental belt, and turns around, gets a clothesline from hell. One, two, three. Oh, I didn't do a Bradshaw gimmick, did I? And Bradshaw. This year, summer arrives early. And Bradshaw wins the WWF Hardcore Championship. And then the 82B is about its superb wrestling great heat. Ooh. Uh, the New Age Outlaws defeated the Rock and Saw Connection in about 17 and a half minutes when Road Dog defeats Mankind with a handful of tights. And they win the tag team titles. See, Mankind's getting better at his gimmick. Road Dog and Billy Gunn showed excellent chemistry, so did the Rock and Saw. Rock and stood out. 100 for Rock, 100 for Mankind, 81 for Billy Gunn, 80 for Road Dog. Like, that's how I like to see. And Road Dog was fucked up. Billy Gunn was fucked up. Alright. And then the New Age Outlaw steal it. Then in a 71 C+, extremely short match, the New Brood defeat Too Cool in 5 minutes when Jeff Hardy defeat Grandmaster Sexay by pinfold with Twist the Fate and Swanton combo. And, uh, 46 for Grandmaster, 49 for Scotty, 69 for Matt, and 74 for Jeff. He's going to rehab. And that's when Terry Run comes out and announces the Terry Runnels Invitational Best of Five series, where she's looking for the best up-and-coming tag team in the world to get the services of Terry Runnels. So the next couple months the new brood will go against Edge and Christian and the winner will win a thousand a hundred thousand dollars in the services of Terry Runnels and then a 79 C test challenges Jericho to a match at Unforgiven to back up to like protect the honor of Stephanie McMahon because of what Jericho said last one uh, the other night on Raw then an 84 B plus, we did it, guys. And about that fantastic heat and great wrestling, Vince McMahon defeats Triple H in 13 minutes, but pinfall with a with a none, following uh, interference from Stone Cold Steve Austin and, and to win the WWF Championship. 93 for Triple H, 62 for Vince McMahon, and the unthinkable has happened. Vince McMahon is the world champion. Increase their popularity in 12 regions. Vince McMahon is our world champion. They did it in real life. I did it in the game. So this month and a half, two months, is going to be like the game. First off, look. Mankind Rock. Rock's annoyed. Yup. Jeff Hardy annoyed. Fine. Fine. Send a rehab. Like nine months? Five? Not bad. What is our backstage rating? 82. All right. There's a lot of drugs, you know? OVW get who? Some Jillian Fletcher. Mark Mero, uh, Sherry Martell, Father James Mitchell. I almost clicked on something else. I thought he was in WCW at this time. <laughs> California. City of nope. I don't know. I don't need that entire thing.
Let's continue. I'm going to jump to this. What do we got? Three years. If we ever wanted Vamp Hero, you would have to get him now. And you know, I'm a fan of Vamp Hero. How much are they offering him? Twenty-one sixty. Let's do twenty-two. Eat then. None, none. And let's see if we get that. Our uh, Vampiro. Jesse Hernandez. So, OVW had one. Kurt Angle defeats Robert Conway. Rip Rogers. Lana Kinnear defeats him. And S.A. Rios. Flash Gunnigan Trash. Defeat Death from Above. This is Rico and Trailer Park. Nope. Rico and Steve Bison. Let's advance another day. There's Test. And Bobby Fish. Looking through. What do they want now? What is it? Oh, I will go to 27. If they match this, I'm not taking them. Four years? Greatest tag team, or the greatest, in uh, my personal opinion, one of the greatest music entrance themes. I'm looking for. You can see my recording software yet. Twenty six. That's still better. He was gonna start messing up again. John Laurinaitis. Let's go this way. I mean, I know why, because goddamn Spotify. Let me get this out of the way. Maybe we'll get her one day. Ohio Valley Wrestling Live, Kurt Angle, defeat wins. We got Raw's War tomorrow. I gotta give some money to... I didn't mean to give you that much. Dude, I get it, man. Like, but come on. How much do you want, Mick? Here's a hundred thousand dollars. You fucking happy yet? Jesus Christ! All our money that we made this year is fucking gone. <laughs> WWE Junior Heavyweight. Fall brawl happened last night. Let's see. Kishi thinks he can come up. They got five years. I'm not going any higher. So Rikishi thinks he can come up. That's not. 
And I got, you know what? We kind of need him. What else did I want to? Oh yeah, fall brawl. Oh. So. Anything big. Prince Ikea, Kid Robio, Super Kick, Rick Steiner. This cool Inferno was a new Ch Cruiserweight champion. Chris Ben won with no contest. Vamp Hero won with no contest. Booker T and Hogan defeated in a 96 Diamond Dallas Page. Not a bad show. Not a bad show. So. I tell you, the ex is gonna kick ass right now. When's our next pay per view? Our pay per view Sunday. Good. And then what the hell sa Saturday, week one? Rebellion. Alright. Anyways, guys, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you at Monday Night Raw. Raw is war. Ugh. Peace.